Greetings, brothers and sisters. God bless each and every one of you today. I hope everybody's doing well. Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming, and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. Folks, the deception is so thick right now, and the spirit of Antichrist is very much spreading like wildfire all over the planet. This is setting the stage for the arrival of the future Antichrist who will not be revealed until after the rapture of the Church of Jesus Christ. I want to discuss a man who is connected to some very powerful people who is a part of the World Economic Forum, a promoter of the agenda of the Great Reset, uh, also a promoter and supporter of Agenda 2030, and has a huge influence on hundreds of millions of people all around the world. This man is extremely dangerous and carries with him the spirit of Antichrist and is part of the huge deception that is occurring right now all over the world. I am not saying this man is the Antichrist. However, he is no doubt setting the stage for the arrival of the future Antichrist and further spreading the spirit of Antichrist all across the world. This man's name is Yuval Noah Harari. He's right on the screen right here. Who is Yuval Noah Harari? He is the lead advisor to Klaus Schwab, who is the executive chairman of the World Economic Forum. Yuval Noah Harari is strongly deceived and carries the spirit of Antichrist around with him. He's a lover of self and thinking that he can alter God's creation of mankind by merging humans with AI to make God's image bearers better. Actually, when you go to Yuval Noah Harari's website, the main headline on the top of his website says the following, history began when humans invented gods and will end when humans become gods. That's the main headline, folks, on his actual website. He's known for constantly saying, we will become gods. When asked about religion's role in society, he said, so far in history, in order to organize humans on a large scale, you always had to have some story, some fiction, which humans invented, but which, but which enough humans believed in order to agree on how to behave. In other words, Harari believes the Bible and the resurrection of Jesus are just a shared fiction used to help us behave better. He's actually said on live television right, that the resurrection of Jesus, Jesus rising from the dead on the third day, is a fairy tale. And he's actually quoted as saying, we will go beyond the God of the Bible. In fact, let me share a little clip with you. The only thing God managed to create are organic uh, beings. Mm. All these trees and giraffes and humans, they are just organic. But we are now trying to create inorganic entities, inorganic life forms, cyborgs, artificial intelligence, and so forth. If we succeed, and there is a very good chance we will, then very soon we will be beyond the God of the Bible. You heard that correct, folks. What he just said, if we succeed and there is a very good chance we will, then very soon we will be beyond the God of the Bible. Now, if that doesn't get your attention, it should, especially if you know your Bible. What he just said, what does that sound like? When, when you go to the book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 4, right, when the future Antichrist uh, walks into the uh, newly rebuilt temple and declares himself as God in the midpoint of the seven-year tribulation period and something is known as the abomination of desolation, right? uh, we actually read this in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 4, referring to the future Antichrist, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he is God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. So what this man is doing, Yuval Noah Harari, he's elevating himself, not only elevating himself, but he's saying that we're going to go beyond the God of the Bible. If we succeed, and there is a very good chance we will, then very soon we will be beyond 
the God of the Bible. And he frequently says again, we will become gods. Um, and the fact that on his main website, it has the headline of history began when humans invented gods and will end when humans become gods speaks volumes. But also when you go to the book of Genesis chapter 3, verse 3 to 5, um, this is the uh, part of the book of Genesis where we see the fall in the Garden of Eden. In Genesis chapter 3, verse 3 to 5, we read, But of the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For God doth know, in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened. Listen to this next part. And ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. So the serpent says unto Eve, you shall not surely die. Then he goes on uh, to say, your eyes shall be opened and you shall, you shall be as gods. What is this man saying? That's exactly what he's saying, folks. Ye shall be as gods. The bottom lines, folks, this man, Yaval Noah Harari, who is, again, the lead advisor to Klaus Schwab, the executive chairman of the World Economic Forum, He's a strong promoter of Agenda 2030 and a strong promoter and supporter of the, uh, the Great Reset Agenda, who has millions of followers. Millions of people listen to this guy. He says the resurrection of Jesus Christ on the third day is just a fairy tale. And he's saying that we will, be, uh, we will become gods. And history began when humans invented gods and will end when humans become gods, folks. This has the spirit of Antichrist written all over it. This man is playing a huge role in paving the way, preparing people to accept the future Antichrist. This man is dangerous, he's full of deception, and he's deceiving people, millions of people. If you're watching this video right now and you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, don't listen to what this fool says. The fool has said in his heart that there is no God. There is a God. And he loves you very much. The God of the Bible is very real. He's alive. And if you're watching this video right now and you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around this world right now with everything occurring and look at what your Bible says. You will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive, and Jesus is coming back, and he is coming back one day very, very, very soon. But you need to be saved right now because the reality is heaven and hell are very real literal places, and you will spend an eternity at one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. It's eternal torment. It's eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven and the only name that can save you. What do you have to do to be saved? Well, the gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1 to 4. Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin debt that you can never pay on your own. Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross, so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins, he was buried, and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day, as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God. And our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us, and he was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin debt that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. But please, if you're watching this 
and you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, do not be deceived by this madness that this man and many, 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 many others are sharing. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back. And he's coming back very soon. Keep looking up. Keep watching with me. And God bless you all.